Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. One of the primary ways God was worshipped and all to the Bible was given. If you look through the Old Testament and you look through all to the New Testament, one of the primary ways they worship God was given. They either give God their service, they give God their time, they give God their substance, they give God all what they have, and in turn, God always bless them more than enough. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I need a more than enough moment. I need a more than enough season. I need a more than enough in my home. I need a more than enough on the corner church. I need a more than enough here. I need a more than enough in England and Jamaica and the United States. And here in Canada, we need a more than enough. But I tell you the truth, God is waiting on us for us to step up and then God will do the more than enough. Oh my God, I need a more than enough. Yes, sir, indeed. In the name of Jesus, worship is giving your best. The first example of worship in the Bible is in Genesis 4, where, where two men, two brothers, Cain and Abel, offer a sacrifice. Worship is giving your best, brothers and sisters. Too often we, we give God Blemish sacrifice. Blemish. Oh God. Blemish sacrifice. And the language. Blemish sacrifice. Write it down. Blemish is my worship. It's my sacrifice up to power. Am I giving God my very best? Am I really stepping up and giving God my very best? Am I, am I making the denial that God expects me to, to, to offer him? Am I simple giving God my leftovers? Oh, God. Oh, God. To be honest, brothers and sisters, many of the time we're giving God our leftovers. Pastor, how can you say such a thing? How can you say such a thing, Bishop? How dare you say that? <laughs> well, let's go into the tides book. <laughs> well, oh, let's look at a Wednesday night service. Yeah. Well, let's look at a, a youth service. service. Well, look at a, a fasting service. Yes. Well, look at a, a Sunday divine service. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, am I giving God my leftovers? Well, Let's look at how I came in this morning. What time? Yeah. Hey, look at how I worship. When the worship stand and they want to usher us into worship, and all we were doing, I said, why are they taking so long? My God, why does sister here look like that? My God, look at her nose. Didn't she straighten her nose a little bit? Oh God, look at her shoes. Look at her, look at the length of her dress. Couldn't she wear a, a robe? Oh God Almighty, blemish sacrifice. We find that we criticize in the house of God. Oh, we criticize everything. And we have not criticized ourselves. Why? Because we are self-absorbed. And God can't show us ourselves. God can't show us. Us. Oh, God. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord. Lord. Blemish. Blemish sacrifice. Blemish lamb. Blemish. God is expecting us. Because God want to do a new thing in us. He want to do a new thing, a new season. He want to experience a newness. But God is waiting on us for us to give the right sacrifice. 
Oh God, tell me they leave Jesus up in this house. Give 
without loving, watch this, but you cannot love without giving. Oh, Jesus, what a word. You can give without loving, but you can't love without giving. Reverend Alex, it doesn't matter how much you give. You can give because you have it. You can give because of this. But I've come to let you know true giving comes with a love that is embedded in your heart, Jesus. Oh, yes. When there's love on board, you can give. When there's love in your heart, you can give. When there's love, you can change things around for God. Away from giving God our best. And we understand God want to do for us. But there's another thing that God showed me and he want me to address this convention with. And it's simple, this number two, leaving our comfort zone. Oh, shock on me. Shake it all over Somebody praise the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord. Somebody stand and praise the Lord. Somebody stand and praise God.
your comfort zone. And I want you to write this down if you choose to. I want you to write it down because this is important. The greater the assignment, Jesus Christ, the greater the assignment, the greater the sacrifice. You got to understand that when there's a calling on your life, there are sacrifices that you have to. You have to. No quotes about it. You need to understand that. And if there is, if you can't make the sacrifice, the assignment is not for you. Somebody pray something. Yes. Yes. Many of us want to take assignment. Bishop, many of us want to take up assignment. But be honest with you, Dr. Alex, they don't, we don't want to make the sacrifice. We criticize Bill Jakes. Uh, we criticize TJ, T, uh, DV, uh, TV Jakes. We criticize Austin. We criticize Bernard. And we wonder how on God earth have they become so big. Guess what? You don't know their story. You don't know their story. The sacrifices that they have made. The denial that they have to go, have, have to give up. The time they have to give up. That all the many things. And we just want to live in our zone and expect God just to start doing a new thing in us. God can do a new thing in us unless we make sacrifices. And the only way we can make sacrifice unless we get out of our comfort zone. Oh, God Almighty, real growth begins once you leave your comfort zone. For 40 years, Moses benefited from, ev from every everything Egypt had to offer him. But only after he left Egypt, for the first time did he begin to learn what was really important. The will of God. Somebody said the will of God. The will of God. Somebody said the will of God. Somebody said the will of God. There's the will of God over every one of us life. Over every one of us. Every one of us there's a calling on our lives. You see, God didn't place us here as an empty shell. Oh, it's not in God's DNA just to place us here uh, without a purpose. No. Yes, yes. Oh God, no. Every one of us, boy, girl, yes. man, boy, or whoever. Yeah. <laughs> Every one of us is placed here with a purpose. Every one of us here is a calling of God and our life. If you're not here, if you're here today and not saying, I hasten to say this, that there is a call, there's an awesome calling of God on your life. And God wanna do a new thing in you. But listen, it took him 40 years in the desert to discover how God intended to use him. Yes, sir. But when he humbled himself, God made him over. Yeah. Yeah. The bottom line is, before you go, you have to grow. Come on, preacher. Before you go, before you go, before you go, oh God, I shout Oh God, I believe they're calling. In this church, I believe their their call, the call of God, is on many and all of us life, and God want to tap into us. Question is, are you available for God today? Hmm? Are you available for God today? Are you available to give God your very best? Are you available to give God the best? 
that the good can come? Huh? Oh, God, listen to this. Christ does all things well. And he has deposited in us the same spirit of excellence. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Everything that God does. Everything. Look at you. Oh, my God. Look at you. Look at me. I always say God is a God of humor. Because when you really look at the birds, and when you look at some of these animals that God created, when you go to the zoo and look at some of these animals, and when you look and see them walking with a long nose, and my God, I can bet some of the animals are laughing at them and say, oh, God. <laughs> I can bet some of the animals are having a field day. But God in his humor, yes, sir. He made them all. Yes, he did. Look at us. Some of us are light skinned. Yeah. Some of us are dark skinned. Yeah. Some of us are handsome. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> all of us are handsome. All of us are beautiful. That's yes, yes, oh God. That's oh God. That's oh God. That's oh God. Anything less than our best is not good enough. No matter how great it is. Doesn't matter how great you think it is. Oh, yes. It doesn't matter how great we think we are. <laughs> okay. Our best. Is good enough. Hear what the Lord God Jehovah said. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, said the Lord. Yes. Yes. Oh God. Somebody said, Who in this place? The thoughts of peace and not evil to give you an unexpected end. Uh, then shall he call upon me, and he shall go and pray unto me, and I will. Uh, somebody say, I will. I will. Oh God, I will. Oh God, somebody say, I will. I will. Jesus, I will hop unto you. And he shall seek me and find me. Oh. Hey God, oh God. Then shall he search for me with all thine heart. Amen. Are you giving God your best? Is your best is good enough? Is your best good enough? What about your leftovers? You find that you've given God more of your leftovers? Huh? Then you re-sacrifice? Talk to me. Do you find that you, we, we don't say it, all of us. Do we find that we're giving God more of our leftovers? And what do we give him the best for our service? Best of our worship, best of our sacrifice. Are we doing that? In this convention, let's make a commitment. Let's make a declaration that at this blessed hour, I will give God my very best day and night. I will give God my best going in. I'll give God my best coming. Yes, sir. Going out. I give God my best when he elevates me. I give God my best when I'm done. I even when I have my pity party, I give God my best fastings. Even when I get upset with God, oh God, even when Pastor McLeod, when he get upset with God, because God has not done for him what he so desired right now. I declare I give my God my best. Let's bow our head. Let's bow our head. Father, thank you. Thank you for allowing me to preach your word. Thank you, Lord, that this word, that this word has lodged in the heart of the people. Thank 
Thank you, Lord, for what you are doing even now. Thank you, God, that as we leave to this door, leave to these doors today, we will in intentionally, God, intentionally, God, intentionally, God, give you our best. Father, bless your people now. Oh, we declare in this house that we, the people of God, will now stand up and we will be counted. We will be the people that God you use in such a time as this, in a mighty end time as this, God. Father, I pray that you bless your people. Bless those that are sick. Bless those that are on the borderline, those who are given up, those who, those who are discouraged, those who, oh God, have stray. Bring them back to the fold. Father, bless them indeed. Father, we thank you for your word and today. We bless you for your word. In Jesus' name, somebody say amen. amen. Did you receive a word today? Let's stand up for praise God.